Hi Trader, welcome to the Forex video of this week, taking a look at the dollar strength. Last week, Friday, the NFP set up the US dollar soaring, uh, or at least strengthening a bit at least. Uh, now it's testing the resistance first of all. I'm going to discuss that in just a second. First of all though, be aware that this video is shown to a global audience but may not be suitable for everyone. Please visit AdmiralMarketsGlobal.com, select your country or residence, and contact the appropriate entity for more details. Also, please be aware that trading for exchange of global financial markets is considered high risk. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. This webinar is or video is for information and educational purposes only. And by continuing watching this video, you agree with this disclaimer and you are aware of the risk involved when trading. All right, we're looking at the euro dollar daily chart and uh, you see that the NFP sent the euro dollar lower. Now, the daily candle of the NFP day is not that large. If you look at the high and the low, it is only the difference there is about 80 pips or so, uh, 85 to be uh, precise probably. So that's a small candle actually for an NFP. NFP is typically a large candle, has more weight. This is a relatively small candle. So it seems like, yes, the dollar did strengthen, the euro dollar did fall, but I would say it was not an overriding strong candle. Uh, price is also now approaching a support level. I made it orange here, let me make that blue. And that level could still be an important level for potential bounce, right about 105 as well with the Keltner, Admiral Keltner band very nearby too. That is a strong support level. So what I would be expecting is price to, this week at the beginning of this week, because it's now still closed the market, is for price to make a bit of retracement and then still make that last push to test 105, 105.50 and then bounce to correct this downside. That is my primary uh, wave analysis expectation at this moment. And uh, I think that looking at support or resistance, that makes sense too. Clearly price is still in a downtrend, but we've had pretty good correction here, three wave correction. So I would put the FIB wherever this stops, if it stops, of course, uh, to that bottom and would look for price to get back and hook back to the 50, 61, maybe even the 78.6 FIB. Uh, any of those three fibs, I think, are likely candidates for price to move and turn back down. Now I'll use my drawing tool to show you like this, a bit of retracement of Friday's candle. I would expect to follow through because of uh, last week's still bullish candle uh, and also Friday's uh, daily candle that was bearish, excuse me. Uh, so I'm expecting that follow through to, to the 105, 105, 50 area. Then I'm expecting a bounce and a three wave pullback up to the 50, 61 or 78.6 fib and then a turnaround looking for daily candles uh, in that zone for a bearish turnaround. The 78.6 fib might be interesting as well because of this potential right here. That is called a head and shoulders pattern. So that is also a, a point of confluence basically. I want to wait 25, but I think the 61.8 or 50 could also be a turning spot we might just get that one more dollar strength push on this euro dollar. Uh, perhaps the last push, but still one more push. Now, if that does not happen, uh, I, of course, it depends on a lot of factors. Uh, it depends on how price will respond in this zone. Maybe we won't get a bounce, but we'll get a breakout immediately, right? I'll be keeping an eye on the daily candle, how the daily candle closes in relationship to this support zone. If the daily candle closes uh, close to the low, well, we might be in for a surprise and after maybe some kind of bear flag pattern, who knows, it might immediately continue. So I am going to keep an eye on this zone, first of all, uh, to see how price reacts to that support level. More on the pound dollar and dollar yen in just a second. First of all, though, we have a great webinar schedule. We have Nenet's weekly recap, of course, and live trading session and educational webinar on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Next week, we got a lot of webinars again. Recap my trading patterns, momentum, and support and resistance webinar on Tuesday, looking at the live market, and then it's live trading sessions. So I hope that you'll join one of these webinars and hope to see you there soon. All right, regarding the pound USD daily chart, very strong bearish candle uh, as well, even stronger than the euro dollar. And I think that a close that near the low, plus the significant size, I would say it's a, it's a pretty decent size. Let's take a look at the and measure that quickly here high low difference we're talking about 112 pips all right just slightly a bit more than a year dollar but more importantly that the close was near the low that indicates that the bears were in control i'm expecting this 50 fib therefore to break and price to head down to the 61.8 if not even the 78.6 fib so 
Here too, I'm expecting price to make a bearish continuation at the beginning of the week, Monday, Tuesday, then a bounce up, let's say in the, in, in the middle or end of the of the week, basically. All right. So uh, a small retracement is possible. Would look for follow through down to these potential targets. Of course, price might stop at the 61.8 and pause, but eventually could even go down to these fibs before it bounces and it could stay in this bigger wedge when you look at the orange and blue line. Now, when zooming in uh, to the four hour chart, you see that price basically uh, is testing the 50 fib. I would expect price on the hourly chart to make kind of a bear flag. If it does that, I think a follow through after a break of that flag is is imminent. And that, that looks like a, an interesting setup as a continuation of this pound dollar. We talked about this uh, in live webinars, I think in last week's Monday recap two uh, video about the heads up that I was looking for a turn in this zone. So I saw a breakout here, looked for a pullback that was a break in my, in my opinion and was looking for a pullback and continuation. So that worked out nicely. Basically now I'm not looking for such a deep uh, correction or pullback, rather more uh, a, a bear flag in a way. Let me put the mini terminal here, looking for something like this and then a break of that. All right, that's I think the pattern, roughly the pattern or any kind of corrective pattern basically what I'm looking for on the hourly chart. All right, next on the list, dollar yen. Well, uh, basically my view, making a, a nice channel here to the downside, uh, corrective channel, bull flag in a way, a big bull flag. Uh, we're looking at a daily chart, so this is a, a daily bull flag. So those obviously take time to develop and, and complete. Uh, I think that price probably should make a last push lower to the 50 fib and turn at that 50 fib. It's very close, it challenged 110 uh, round resistance or support level, excuse me, in this case. So not surprising, it's kind of struggled there. But ultimately, I would not be surprised if price makes a little bit of a dash down to that 109.36, the 50 fib itself, could go a bit lower, obviously, a few pips below it, but should stay roughly around 109, 109.50 and bounce at that the bottom of the, the bull flag and then rise up to challenge the resistance of the bull flag. I would expect some small correction there. And then after that, a breakout. Now, how small that correction is, difficult to say now, but could be maybe you know a few days, uh, maybe two weeks max, I would say, roughly speaking. It depends also on how fast price falls and rises. Uh, so that's something we'll see later on. Just check our live webinars for updates on that. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm expecting a small fall and then a bounce. So let's take a look at that four hour chart. I would not expect price to move above this level. If it does, while well, that, especially above this, these two resistance zones, then in that case, price might be challenging the resistance here. There could be a breakout territory. Uh, if it goes like this, it makes a hook back and it bounces. That could be a good uh, zone or space to the upside if, it, if price breaks above uh, these resistance spots. And the moving average right so something like this this zone right there could be interesting otherwise if price stays below uh this what is it 111 50 and 112 i think it could be a turning spot right here actually for that last dash let's take a look at the hourly chart you can see price already turning uh, on the hourly chart let's see how the how the charts open um of course, that will give us some information. Uh, but if there's a momentum here and a bear flag like this, a break of that flag too should be an interesting move to the downside. So a pattern like that could be very interesting for bearish breakout on the dollar yen. Of course, more info at admiralmarkets.com, MediTrader 4 Supreme Edition, where you can get the Admiral Keltner and the pivot points and a lot of other indicators and special tools. Uh, YouTube, Facebook, you can find us here with all the info. And, uh, of course, analytics, webinars, articles at admiralmarkets.com too. Great trading. Talk to you soon. Cheers.